Okay, so welcome to the video and Yunnan and Li Jiang here and it's crazy nice. I just arrived at this small boutique hotel here. Got my room. Definitely beating the expectations, I can tell you that. Super friendly staff here. Just arrived at this super cool place called Xinzu Snow Mountain Ching Cheng Panoramic Holiday Club. I think normally probably a lot more expensive, but now no guest almost a very good price. Only pay of like 500 RMB or something like that per night with this crazy view here. Get some nice welcome drinks here. Not sure where that is, but I will try it out later. This place is really cool. It's just, there's a bit of construction going on here, but I'm gonna just show you guys. It's really cool when you walk up here. See all this old, really cool. You just walk here, walk out and see this. Wow, sitting here. This is crazy nice views here. Wow, just look at that view. Wow, let's go explore a bit. Really cool when you walk in here between like the floors. You have some for the kids in here. You have this old style here, super nice. Then you get down to the breakfast area here, really nice. Bit of a courtyard. Let's go outside. Come out from here and you get greeted by this. Really nice, these old streets here. Let's go up and explore. Yeah, there's a lot of construction here going on in the background, but still very nice here to just explore. I'm gonna see if I can find some food. It's only like 9.30 in the morning. See if I can find some food here. Really nice. Seems like they're serving breakfast here. Some local stuff here. What is that? We have the potatoes and tofu. Interesting. Really, really nice. Let's go up. Maybe I'll head in at breakfast later. It's very high up here. So many cool areas here to explore. Little spots everywhere. Small little garden in here. Very nice. I think I'll just go and check out that little food store, have some breakfast. Okay, so I guess they have this famous baba that I read about. I'm gonna try that. Let's see if they have something with meat as well. Let's check it out. Very local, let's try. They also have the yak meat actually here. So I'm gonna try that one and this one. Ooh, looking good. Let's have some breakfast, maybe some veggies. Yeah. Mission say yo chicken. Yoda? Yeah. Okay. Uh chicken to shot you. We send chicken high out chicken high out chicken. Ooh, so we got some of the food here. First two dishes, then we have two more. Getting the meat in. I think that's the yak meat. Really excited about trying this actually. Never tried it before. Ooh, and here we have the chicken soup. Wow. Nice. Actually, Li Jiang is super high up. It's like 2,400 meters. So you can really feel that you get a bit sort of more exhausted when you're walking around. Uh, so I need a good stamina. But I noticed that some people outside were a bit tired after walking up and down. It's very steep here with a lot of hills. So that's why I need a lot of good energy here. Ooh. Okay, thank you. That's the last one. That's the Baba. Ooh, so we have everything now. Let's dig in and try it. It is looking amazing. Very nice start to the day in this local spot here, just next to the hotel. Life is definitely very good. Okay, let's try it out. I'm going to start with this. I don't know if I'm sure it's supposed to eat it with the hands, but I'm going to try it like this. Kind of like bread. Looks interesting. Let's try it. Mm. Yeah, very plain, so to speak bread but a little bit sweet actually nice mm, good mm -hmm. a lot of carbs but it's 10 now i've been up since four flying in from kunming here to lead Jung, so i need some energy okay let's try the yolk meat that is looking good let's try it mm. with the chili very nice let's have another bite Ooh, chili and a bit of garlic i think looking good mm, definitely very good mm. let's go for the vegetables this is more to make sure it's still full here for the whole day. Mm, no, maybe not as exciting, but definitely very good. I want to try out this soup here. And we have birds in the background. I guess for this, we probably need a small bowl or something, but I just want to try a bit of the mushroom here first. That is looking good. Mm. Mm. Actually, that was not mushroom, that was chicken. It's mushrooms with chicken, but that piece was actually chicken. Mm, very nice, here's a mushroom. Mm, very nice, good stuff. Mm, tasty. Maybe I should get a spoon, but I'm just gonna pick up the chicken pieces here. Ooh, that is great. 
Mm. Fun. I managed to get basically three local Yunnan dishes in one meal here at breakfast. So we got the jock meat and we get this baba as it's called. And then we have the chicken soup. Very nice. You can even dip it here. I'm not sure if this is sort of allowed culturally speaking, but this is nice. Mm. Really nice. I guess you can also dip it a bit here. This is probably totally crazy, but it looks nice. Mm. It tastes nice. Very nice. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna wrap this up here. Enjoy this meal and this nice soup here. Then get some energy and then we'll see you later. It's interesting you have all these people carrying their things back here up the mountain on their backs. Very traditional and very functional as well. I think people walk up to the village from down there. Very nice traditional way. Now I get back to the hotel and they gave me this nice little fruit basket. Definitely really nice service. It's gonna be a good day, that's for sure. So it seems that I need to do a COVID test to actually go and explore the mountains. So I'm not allowed to go there. So I have to go to the hospital and do a test now. But you get the results before midnight. So I can actually do two trips tomorrow. Go to two different mountains. So that would be nice. So hospital first, and then I'm gonna explore the city here. So not too bad. Wow, that is really heavy. Carrying all those bricks up. That's not good for your back, but I guess it's hard to go up here otherwise. Okay, let's go to the hospital. Yeah, here we have the people carrying the bricks up and down. That's heavy. So nice, just walk around here. We have the local dress here, nice. So I got some tips here from the locals, so I'm gonna go and check it out here. But let's see, there was a place only like three minutes away. Today I can't go hiking because I need to do the COVID test, so I did that. Now I'm ready, so today will be a bit more relaxed. First, we're just gonna be a bit western and get some coffee. You want me a cafe? Yeah. Huh? Binda. Fantastic, we have a coffee on the way. Added six RMB to get some extra shot. And then we're greeted with this amazing view. Yeah, I think you can enjoy the coffee here without too much effort. It's just crazy nice here everywhere you look. It's just beautiful. All these old buildings and nice atmosphere. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit down here and relax and have my coffee. Ooh, I got my coffee. She said, thank you. And I got my black Americano here with no calories. Enjoying this view. That is fantastic. Things could be worse. And we got this nice little yellow straw here. So we're gonna enjoy this, get energized since I got up four this morning to get here. And then we're gonna continue exploring. Okay, that was really nice. Now I'm energized. Let's move on. So many places everywhere. There's like bars and music everywhere. So many nice boutique hotels here. And also stores. So many small, nice stores here everywhere. I imagine in the evening it's gonna be really, really pretty. All of these places. Gonna take it a bit easier now, eat and then come back in the evening, that's for sure. Really amazing, beautiful. Let me just look at this beautiful views here when you're walking in the streets, this dynamic scene. The lighting, really nice. Ooh, and here we have some food, maybe let's try it out. I wanna try some of the local noodles, but maybe this is not the best place, I'm not sure. Here yeah, we have some guy doing tofu. I'm not a huge fan of that, maybe we'll try later. So nice to just walk around here, peaceful area. There's a lot of stores like always, but at least I'm not a tourist. So many nice boutique hotels here everywhere. And yeah, this just alleys leading in here. You can just explore. It's really nice. We have a little stream here, so nice. You have a little small water stream here. Wow, this is crazy nice. Just walking along the water here. Really nice. It's open square here, a lot of things. Just walk over this small little bridge. And we have this old, I think it's supposed to be a clock tower. Then we have this nice little stream here. The flowers. Doesn't really get more pretty than this. So beautiful and relaxing. Yeah, just walk in this small alleys here. You never know what to find. It's some sort of noodle place. So many nice areas here. I guess this is kind of a famous spot. We have some people live streaming here in the background, selling stuff. And there's police here as well, guarding. Here we have one of those more shopping oriented streets. It's always a lot of commercial stuff going on at the same time. Let's see if we can find some snacks, maybe some noodles. The people in the hotel are very friendly, so they gave me a guide with like 20 places to check out. So I'm just gonna follow that and see what we end up with. Seems I'm not the only tourist in town. We have a whole school class here. We have this nice old bridge. It's always fun you're walking around, people scream like, why go around? It means foreigner. Wow, this is crazy nice. Wow. 
Okay, so I'm gonna try this one, rubing the goat cheese. Mm -hmm. How? Let's sit down here with the British cushions and enjoy the view here a bit and relax. We get some interesting options here. Worms, I think I will skip those for now. Maybe another time, or probably not. This is the Yeah, okay, how? This is Ah, this is Great, so we actually found some yak meat. I've been looking for that. I had it in the morning, but now I have the fried one. That's the local specialty. Let's go for it. Okay, so since we get the food here. Oh, nice. We get the yak meat. And then we get the goat cheese. Mm, this is oh, That is looking good. Oh, let's try it out. It's going to be interesting. We have this sizzling yak meat and then we have the goat cheese. Okay, let's try it out. Looking good. Yak meat, really interesting. It's kind of beef, similar like beef, or at least the name in Chinese is uh, similar. See if it tastes the same. Mm, very nice. But the onions, this reminds me more of what I've had sort of in Shanghai, this restaurant called Lost Heaven, the set of Yunnan food. This reminds me more of that. Mm, mm, really tasty. Quite a bit of a different um, taste for sure. Nice with the bell peppers and you have the onions. Really nice local twist. Fun to try some new things, that's for sure. Wow, that is looking great. Mm. Mm. Very good pick. And quite lean meat. So next up we have the goat cheese. And so you're supposed to dip it in this, I guess this is sugar. Not exactly the healthiest, but let's try. Ooh. Let's a little bit. Let's try, let's try this one. Wow, okay, interesting. Almost has kind of like a vanilla touch to it. I don't know if it's this. Mm, okay, that was very unexpected. It does not really taste like cheese, I can tell you that. Reminds me kind of like vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Okay, this was very nice. Mmm, very positively surprised. Now we have this. This was a fantastic combo. Second meal here in Lidyang. Definitely very good so far. Five out of five. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off enjoying this amazing meal and we continue walking after that. Yeah, the meal was really nice. Finishing up and just gonna take a walk along this really beautiful stream here. You can sit and eat here. I think the evening is gonna be crazy nice here. I guess not all of this is very authentic, but still quite cozy nevertheless. Yeah, the yak meter that I just tried is the local specialty. Very popular. A lot of nice fruit stalls here everywhere. And then you're getting out to this. A lot of nice trees here. Reminds me a bit about these other sort of water towns I've been to in China. Really nice. Yeah, Swagorian, foreigner. Very nice here. Some coffee shops up here. You can just sit and relax. This old nice areas. Really nice decoration here everywhere, for sure. So much to take in here. It's kind of like overload of the cultural heritage stuff everywhere. And of course you have some of the more modern things here in the background. But of course, you shouldn't forget what's supporting all of this. Yeah, here's another famous spot. We have this water wheel the cool ancient buildings in the background really nice and the stream goes down that way yeah i can definitely see where this got in the world heritage list from unesco really pretty quite unique that is for sure and the water starts here and that goes down all the way down there okay so now we're gonna follow the tour guide and continue this way get the flag waving in the wind so a nice place there it's a lot of Sichuan food actually seems to be very popular Really nice to just walk around here. Here we have Yunnan coffee. Actually, Yunnan is quite famous for their coffee. Maybe I should try some. I'm gonna try the Yunnan Arabica honey coffee. Ooh, that is looking good. Yeah, a week for a good cup of coffee. Let's try it out. It's looking good. I used to buy Yunnan coffee when I was trying, actually. Let's try it. Let's see what we can get. Getting the pour over coffee. Nice. Got the ice for the pinda. Ooh, interesting. Pour over here. Ooh, that's looking good. That is looking fantastic. Some fresh coffee to get some more energy. This is life, huh? Waiting for the coffee to drip here in Lijiang in Yunnan with some beans from here. That's amazing. Nice. Getting the coffee ready for the road. Ooh, and someone is cleaning their throat in the background. Very fresh. Thank you, let's try it. Okay, great, we got the coffee, we're ready to explore. Let's try it out. Got the coffee and the ready to go with a nice background I'm, I'm view here. And we get some local dialects going on here that I definitely don't have a clue what they're saying. Okay, let's try it. 
Mm, a bit sweet. Definitely some honey notes going on there. Okay, great, perfect. Let's fuel the rest of the exploration. So many places around, you can basically get lost here like forever. Pretty places everywhere. Now the sun is starting to set here. We get really nice lighting. Cozy, I think with the lights coin is gonna be crazy nice. Here we get some cool umbrellas or lanterns hanging from the roof. Really nice venues here. You can sit on the roof. You have the trees. All the cool things here in the open space. And it's like place after place everywhere here. This is definitely a place you can spend quite a lot of time and just enjoy. Wow, so nice here. Here we have some worms or bugs, crickets and stuff. Interesting, not my thing really, but I'm sure some people like it. Maybe another time. This area is supposedly famous here. A lot of decoration going on. Uh, some other live streaming going on here. The nice lighting, really nice background here. That's pretty cool, that's for sure. Interesting area for sure with this flying teacup. Nice vibes here. Some music and action going on. Very dramatic in the background. Have food here. Very nice here. A lot of pretty interesting installations of stuff here, like art, or I don't know what you want to call it, but I'm not so sure it's that old necessarily, but nevertheless, pretty cool. Interesting here. Here we have a nice gate here leading into some other areas. Here we actually have a palace and the sunshine shining over the entrance to this place. The beautiful backdrop here. Let's check it out. Oh, that is beautiful. The temple up there on the hill. Wow, imagine living here back in the day. Must be pretty calm and nice. Guess I'm ruining someone's photo shoot here in the background. Very popular spot, that's for sure. I can definitely understand why. Let's explore this old temple area. All these places feel kind of like yeah, some ancient medical area, almost like Lord of the Rings or something. Very, very nice. Seems the entry to this temple is closed here, but there's one inside here. It's supposed to be very nice. Maybe another time. We have the temple on the hill here. Really beautiful. So much culture and heritage here. All these temples built in Asian times. Wow, so colorful. Really, really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna try these famous rolls that are from here. 10 each with meat inside. Normally there's peanuts, but I will take those out or she will take it out for me. So I'm gonna wait for the sunset here and then eat a little bit, get those carbs in. I'm still looking for my noodles, but I guess I gotta keep on looking. I'm at 13,000 steps so far now, so it should be okay. Okay, here is my small little pancake wrap. Here we also have a few more of these babas there everywhere. This one I think has meat inside, it's looking very nice. Maybe I should actually try one of these as well. Have to do very slowly, she says, to get it right. Interesting, it's like expanding. You need a lot of precision for this. Do you tofu, ma? Tofu. Tofu. Okay, dosha tofu, okay. Huh? Interesting, it's like, almost like a bubble. Mm. Putting the sauce and the meat. That is looking good. Then we add some veggies. Nice, good and healthy. Do a bit of a wrapping there. Nice. Getting the wrap ready. How Can't tell how to. Mmm, see. Okay, let's try it out. It looks nice. Mmm, very nice. Very crunchy. Mm. Okay, do you see See Okay. Yeah, that was a nice little energizing snack. Let's finish this off and continue exploring. Starting to get a bit of the sunset here. Really, really nice. Gonna go down a bit and check more later. Yeah, you have the sun setting here over Lijiang. That is really beautiful, that's for sure. Now we're starting to have the really nice lighting outside. Really cozy environment now in the evening. And we're getting the really cozy evening vibes here. All the lights coming on. Oh, really beautiful here. Yeah. Definitely a lot nicer in the evening, but also 
a lot of the bars and things are coming alive here. Not only as traditional anymore, you have sort of a club going on in there. Pretty intensive, combining the old with the new. The china, it's really pretty. Lanterns definitely get a nicer mood when you're walking around like this, that is for sure. Gonna check out here next to the river as well. Yeah, you definitely have the new China here with all the clubs and the bars. Very loud here in the background. Not so old anymore. That's the modern China. Here we have these nice sort of umbrellas hanging in the ceiling. Wow, that is really pretty. Yeah, people walking with these bamboo sticks. Very nice, for sure. Very nice here when you have the blue background and these ones here. Really beautiful. Small alleyways and things. Really cool places everywhere, like alleyways when you go exploring. Really nice area. Just walking in these alleys and you see some interesting entrances here. Very cool to just explore. So much lighting here. Everywhere is like yellow and red, purple. Really cool. Just go and explore in the evening. Definitely much cozier than the daytime, that's for sure. You have these ancient gates leading into this valley. Really cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue walking around here a bit. Really, really nice. See if we can find some of those famous noodles as well later on. I don't know. I haven't found any place yet. Also need to charge my batteries at the same time. Really nice area vibes here. Here's a really cozy street here. I'm gonna see, they seem to have noodles here. Give me a mian. Is it Yunnan mianda? Chicken. Yes. Uh, I didn't la. Okay. Gotta try the local beer. This is uh, some Lija. Very nice. Okay, try this one. That's a very small glass, but uh, that's what they gave me, so I guess. Did it have to do? Ooh. Okay. Cheers to a first very nice day here in Lijan and to better to come tomorrow. Ah, very refreshing. Yeah. There's not very strong these Chinese beers, but really, really nice. Yeah, highly recommended to try it. Just refreshing. Not too many calories. It's okay. Okay, and then we got the noodles here. The kids are screaming here in the background. Let's see. I'm gonna try it. Okay, let's try these. Looking good. The noodles are looking good. Let's try it. Mm, quite light. But nice. These are famous here. The rice noodles. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Quite spicy with the chili sauce. Quite nice here with the onion inside. Really hot. You have to take it easy a bit. Gonna wait until it cools down a little bit. You yeah, have all this nice meat inside. Really warm. Mm, gonna enjoy it. Just gonna wait until it cools down a bit. Mm. Well, very nice. I'm gonna finish this up. Really happy to try. A lot of new food today, like five or six new dishes I've never tried. So, very successful first day in Yunnan, that is for sure. Let's see what tomorrow can bring. Now, that dish is finished and it's actually called Cross the Bridge Noodles, one of the more famous ones in China from Yunnan. It's about a story of a wife who had to cross the bridge every day to give his husband very hot noodles. So, wanted to try that one and it was not disappointing. So, while I was eating that, also finalized the trip for tomorrow. Gonna get picked up early and then we're gonna go exploring some mountains. So, really looking forward to that. So, see you tomorrow. So we got up really earlier and the sun set to go and explore today. Really calm and nice. Let's get the day started. Good morning. Wow, get some coffee here. Nice, thank you. That's great service. Really nice coffee. Nice way to start the day. This coffee was really nice pour over and then he prepared some bread for me here. A lot of carbs but still very nice way to start the day. Oh and some milk as well. Perfect. Very nice. Okay so after some complications we finally managed to get the results of COVID and they are negative. So now we can go all the way to the snow mountain. So now we arrived here at the National Park and I paid 100 to get in and I must say they're super helpful here with the COVID test and everything. I would never be able to do this without the help. So server must have minded. Let's see what it looks like when getting. So we're gonna go up here, 4,500 meters almost. Gotta buy the tickets first to the ropeway. Okay, so now we have the ticket to the ropeway. Now I think we have to get the oxygen thing for being able to breathe up there. Also have to rent some warm clothes here actually. Interesting, you have like the vending machine with oxygen tanks. Innovation. 
Yeah, you really get the mountain vibes here. People having the warm coats outside. So we got this one and also the oxygen here. 260, ready to go. So I guess we're gonna go up there. It's gonna be exciting. Okay, so we got everything. We're on the bus, ready to go. Let's go to the cable car. Got some of this local yak meat yesterday. A lot of protein to get boosted with energy before we go climbing. Okay, so let's open this up and try see how it works. Powered by Linde, Germany. Must mean it's good, right? Okay, let's put this on and I guess you breathe. Let's try it. Ooh, that's interesting. Just press here and breathe in. Sounds like Darth Vader. Okay, let's see if I need this later. Definitely the air will be very light at 4,500, that's for sure. Interesting, okay, the bus is leaving, let's go. So we get to the entrance here now. You can actually see some of the yaks walking around here. Really cool with the long hair, I haven't seen before. Okay, so we're waiting for the cable car. Kind of reminds me of being skiing in the Alps or something. It's gonna be interesting. Guess we're going up that way. Seems like I'm getting my own cabin here, let's see. Fantastic. Now let's see what the view is gonna be on offer. A bit cloudy, but we'll see. I don't know if we get through and up through the clouds. Seen some nice pictures, but can never be sure. Leaving the station here and going up to 4,500 meters. Let's see if we'll need this oxygen thing or not. Wow, we have some stairs you can climb up here. That is not for the faint of heart. Seems the weather is clearing up a bit here. Let's see, maybe we're getting up over the clouds. So apparently the name of this place, Yulong Mountain, means free flying dragon because of the shape. Interesting, let's see if we can see it. It's apparently the second highest mountain here in Yunnan. Got some cool caves here. Wow, so it seems we're getting closer here. You can see the mountains here. That's really cool. Yeah, we're getting closer up now. Definitely clearing up. Wow, that is pretty spectacular. Coming up over the clouds. Yeah, this view here. Wow, really, really nice. Happy I got here. Okay, time to get off. Reminds me of a good day in the Alps skiing, but significantly higher up, that's for sure. Okay, let's go. Wow, this is pretty spectacular. We have a llama here as well. Interesting stuff. We have this beautiful view. Wow, yeah, it really feels like being up in the Alps. So we're at the 4,506 meters. Oh, we have a cute little llama here. Hello there. Traditional clothes. Oh, he lost his glasses. <laughs> Not so happy. Wow, let's go and check out the view. You can definitely feel the um, lack of oxygen here. People are sitting down resting, we'll see. I think we're gonna notice that for sure. We're gonna walk up this way. Probably gonna be tired. Let's go and check out here first. Oh, this is crazy nice. You can definitely feel there's no pollution here as well. So much clear air. You feel that like, the sun is burning so much stronger. So nice to be up. Reminds me of when I went to the Glacier Dachstein in Austria, like in 2005. Probably the last time I went to a glacier. Super nice. Let's go up there. Okay, let's see if I can lift up to my alias of 30s fitness journey and see if I have any fitness to make it up there. Doesn't look like uh, that steep of an incline, but I'm pretty sure that I will be grasping for oxygen pretty soon. Let's go. Yeah, so we get up to 4,571. We can have it 300 meters to go to 4,680. Let's see if I make it without the oxygen or not. Definitely feel that uh, you're pulse as and heartbeat is going up you can definitely feel that your legs get a bit tired when you don't have much much oxygen I didn't use any yet but let's see okay so we're at 4576 a little bit more to go yeah this is definitely a very good leg cardio I can tell you that oh the pulse is beating thought it was soon there just a little bit more okay so we're closing in on 4591 Definitely getting the pulse up, but only a little bit more to go. You can buy some coffee and chocolates and stuff, but I'm gonna continue up there. No resting yet. Getting up there, closer by the minute. Definitely get the pulse up. We'll be taking some people, but it's a nice workout. Gonna get some protein and carbs in the morning. Let's make them count and get up there. Some people taking a break here, getting tired. But no time to rest. Let's keep on pushing. We can sit down and wait later. That's not what I paid for. Okay, let's make the most out of this A A A A A tourist attraction and go up there. Let's go. Very good. Ah, well. Okay. Huh. Sweden. Go up first, then come back. Go go. You're asking why you don't use the oxygen? Because that's too boring. It's not a challenge. Let's go. 
Just one step at a time, almost there. Reminds me of the hikes in Hong Kong. Sure, if I can do that, I can do this too. Whew. Got there. Okay. Okay, so we made it. 4,680 without the oxygen. Great. Made it. Now I can take a rest with this beautiful view. Fantastic start to the morning. Morning and workout done. Yeah, unfortunately we're not allowed to bring the drone here. It's a bit windy, they say, which I kind of doubt, but that's the excuse. Really cool here. You can see some people are up here hiking, actually. Really high up here, you can see here people in the background. It's pretty crazy going up all the way. Okay, so time to go back down. That was definitely worth the wait and the COVID test and going to the hospital twice and waiting for the bus to get up early to go here, but definitely worth it as mentioned. So highly, highly recommended to go here if you haven't been. Also at least a very good stamina test and I did not use the oxygen, so I guess I pass that at least. But now let's go down. We have one more cool thing to see in the afternoon. So let's go there and make sure we have a lot of time and also enjoy the sunset later tonight. So I have three quite good things planned. Let's go down. Yes, here we got it. No drone flying, unfortunately, in the Yulong Snow Mountain. Gonna do it later. I think it seems most people really have terrible stamina walking up here. I don't think you need that oxygen thing. Just take it easy and pace yourself, you'll be fine. No problem. It's probably more like a marketing and sales tactic than anything. It's not like you're gonna collapse and die exactly. Also, these clothes are a bit overkill as well. You could have just walked up in as well. Hello, hello. Yeah. That's how I make more money, renting out things. Oxygen tubes, oxygen tubes and clothes, not really needed. Yeah, some people are clearly quite wiped up here. And they barely started. Maybe it's not for everyone. I think it's a sign that you probably need to do some more cardio in your life, if anything. So if you wanna find out if your stamina is up to par, come here and try it out, then you know. Then they wanna help you take photos everywhere, but I don't really need that. But it's a nice backdrop, that's for sure. But I need that weird stuff with wings. I'm okay just looking around here by myself. Okay, let's take the cable car down here. And since I didn't use the oxygen, I paid for it, so I'm gonna try it, see I'm gonna boost my mood a little bit by maybe emptying that on the way down, see if I feel better. <laughs> Let's see. You always see this one Leitner from I think Austria or Switzerland perhaps. They're making all these rope cars everywhere. Okay, let's enjoy the way down with some extra oxygen. Very interesting. <sighs> Darth Vader style. Let's go. Yeah, let's enjoy the view down with this. <sighs> I'm your father. <sighs> Energized. Yeah, the weather definitely cleared out a bit. Hopefully we have some nice views later when we go into the next place. Okay, so we got to the blue moon scenic spot here. And I guess it's perhaps named after this extremely blue water. There's a big yacht down there as well, I think. Interesting, let's go down and check it out. Yeah, down here, it's definitely a lot warmer. It's at 25 or 30 degrees or something. Really contrast to up there, but I guess we're a lot lower now, so. Let's see the waterfalls over here. Wow, here is really beautiful, super clear water here. You can see the mountain in the background and this nice, very clear pond here. Reminds me of sort of Southern Europe and really clear waters. Really nice, really nice here. You can really see through the water, super clear here. Really nice, you seldom see that around here, unfortunately. A bit artificial and fixed as always, but still quite enjoyable to see. More wedding photos What's going on here, one, two. Three couples so far. I have really nice view here. I understand why they take the videos and the photos here. But yeah, we have a lot of more places to go. So I'm gonna head back now and jump on the bus and get the car back. Okay, we're gonna try some local pancakes here with the yolk meat inside. Gonna get the most out of it. Okay, we have one egg and then there's some yolk meat. Looking nice. Get some spices. They always ask if you like spicy food and I do. So yes, let's bring it on. Some crispy stuff and lettuce, nice. And the meat, yes, let's get that meat in there. Not that much, but yours, nice. I would definitely prefer more meat, but that's fine. You can't have everything, nice. Get the final package. Wow, it's really, really hot. Ooh, looking good. 
Mm. A little bit of the spiciness. Let's see if I can find the jerk meat. Mm. Nice. Quite a small kind of snack. Before we go to the next place, the Tiber Leaking Gorge. I think it's kind of like a dam. Let's find out. Well, I'm gonna wrap this up. Small snack and have more food later. Here we have our very helpful driver. We also got the deposit back, so actually paid 260, but it was only 110, so we're getting 110 only. Very good price. Hi, let's go. Some crazy high mountains here, and you know, we're driving around really high and deep valleys. Pretty interesting nature for sure. So we now arrived at the Tiger Leaping Gorge. It's like a huge valley here and a dam. So check it out. It's basically a big dam here the river coming down and beyond here they're building two like huge enormous bridges so it's so high mountains here like deep going down in the river pretty cool reminds me a bit about the hoover dam in the u.s or something like that pretty fascinating and a lot of manpower definitely went into building this quite impressive to say the least yeah, i guess you can walk all the way down there i'm gonna get some extra steps in and check it out why not when i'm here call him and him all the way Basically only 120 kilometers from Shangri-La actually, almost in Tibet, I didn't realize that. But that would have to be another time. Let's go. Quite impressive where you're getting closer to the water, it's really loud and you just see the crazy speed of all the water here. You definitely don't want to fall into that, that's for sure. Then your time is going to be very limited. And I guess we got down here and got to see this water up close. The crazy rush. Definitely don't want to fall in. But yeah, that's about it here. Wow, it's like a dead pig floating here. Poor animal. Yeah, that's what happens if falling. Always a bit touristic, these places, I feel. I'm not gonna take a photo with that, but still, it's worth to just uh, be impressed by the sheer infrastructure here, I feel. Okay, that was pretty impressive and cool to see, but now let's head back to the old city. <laughs> See some more old buildings before the sunset. They have some crazy construction work going on here in the background. They have these two huge bridges spanning. Really sets kind of the scale on things. Come from the dam, but also here I'm guessing one is probably for like high speed train and the other one is for cars. But that's some crazy construction and you see the mountains in the background. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, let's go back now. It's pretty cool when you drive into the city here. You come out from all this like open space around here. Beautiful clouds is everywhere. And surrounding the city we have the new part of it first here and then we have the older part where I stay. Very nice. The sun is starting to set there on our last evening in Lijang. Gotta enjoy the sunset. Some people are also relaxing here, playing some games. Very nice. I'm gonna have a bit of a coffee and just wait for the sunset and then just walk around here and take in all the nice sightseeing. Wow. Here we found a really nice spot. Wow, really nice. I'm gonna enjoy coffee with this view. Some really unique spots here, that's for sure. Just sitting here in the evening, taking in the views. That would be a really nice way to spend the day, that's for sure. Sometimes you just want walking around and see these interesting things like this piece of meat lying here. Nice, just ready to be cooked and eaten. But already had food, so not now, maybe another time. So cozy, we're just walking around here and you have the sunset. The lighting is really nice in the evening. Just walking around the corners like this. There's a lot of cool places around here everywhere in bars. Must be so hard to be competitive here. Every place is competing for the customers. <laughs> Tough business, but really beautiful place around here. Oh, now the sun is setting here and we have the last evening in Lijan. Let's go and explore and enjoy this fantastic blue sunset the last use we can get of legion before we move on you have also this nice colors here red and you have all this blue sky in the background really nice contrast just walking along these really nice alleys here got the amazing colors everywhere yeah this nice area here next to the water this is actually where i had the yacht yesterday and then we have the water and you just turn around you get this old part of the town here Really nice. I think walking up here is my favorite part. Really nice up the mountain towards where I'm staying actually. Less crowded here. Feel more authentic. Yeah, I really like this alley when you walk up here. Small twists and turns here. I think this little corner here is kind of my favorite actually. I walked past here quite a few times on the way down. Especially now when the sun's setting. Get some really nice colors here. It's crazy actually. Look at that. Oh, it looks like a fairy tale. Gonna continue walking down here. 
So many nice lights here. Let's continue walking down here. We yeah, have some crazy nice lighting here in the evening. In this big square here with a tree overlooking this old clock tower I think in the background. A bit touristy perhaps but still quite nice to just enjoy the view here. Can I go to the more older areas here now? Yeah we have all these famous umbrellas in the roof up here. I'm just gonna walk around a bit here now and show you some clips and you know let you see a little bit of everything just mix in some different clips here. I think by night is definitely the most enjoyable so hope you enjoy this the last evening in Lijang really pretty and highly highly recommended coming here especially in the evening so hope you enjoy it quite a lot of people here everywhere so you get sort of can't see the view so clearly but it's definitely a very nice background here then you have all this sort of modern stuff going on but you can still see it's a very ancient bridge and buildings here in the background just love the blue sunset here I wanted to support this lady again so I'm buying one of these baba just to eat as an evening snack here while walking around the last evening here in Lijan super nice cutting up the small pieces okay let's enjoy this a bit with this crazy background let's try one out okay so we have a bit of piece of this baba looking really nice let's try it out very nice highly recommended gotta try this out that's for sure just gonna try out some nice yak meat here we have the the dried ones and then we have the spicy ones over here spicy ones i'm gonna try this one first okay let's try this one nice mm, very nice i'm gonna grab a few of these nice to give as a gift to the colleagues and friends it tastes kind of like beef but it's uh yak i guess they're maybe the same family or something okay nice i'm gonna get some here we have some show going in inside one of the clubs a lot of partying going on but i'm gonna let them do the party i'm gonna go up early and see you today tomorrow here we have old meets new china you have these peaceful candles and then you have the clubbing experience in the background here and then you have this old temple i think it kind of symbolizes li jiang in a few scenes very nicely so i think i'm gonna wrap it up here the sun is set i'm gonna sit down and thank the hotel staff that really helped me a lot to put this trip together with everything from covid to transportation giving me coffee and breakfast in the morning so they offered me to sit down and have a drink with them so i'm gonna join them up there at the hotel but really happy with this trip highly recommend to come to Li Jiang if you have the opportunity so i'm gonna leave you here for now we'll see what we do tomorrow have some cute kittens here hello i was back up here in my hoods get to the hotel okay so we're back here in the hotel at Xinhua Jie Hua Shang Shang Duan in here heart retreat super nice let's see grab some beer with the team here really peaceful uh huh what's that huh seems we got someone doing some fireworks over there that's pretty cool no clue why but it's always nice it's been a long time since i saw that perfect way to end the last evening here in Lija. some fireworks overlooking the city definitely not too bad really beautiful I guess I finally got my beer here. Last drink here in Lijian before I go back. Cheers to that, good trip so far. So we're up at sunrise here at 6.30 here. Last day in Lijian, really nice. I'm gonna go up and see if I can get some cool sunrise shot and just enjoy the day before the sun goes up. Let's see what's in store for today. Just came back to this square in the morning. It's so much quieter. Someone's flying a drone. I also did that just now and get some nice shots. But now I'm gonna up and have some breakfast at the hotel here last morning. Okay, so it's time for breakfast and the hotel has prepared something. It smells really nice. Let's see what we have on offer. Yeah. Oh, this is yeah. nice. We have really great breakfast here. We get some noodles. Not exactly what I eat every day, but it's great to get energized. We have some eggs here. Nice. We have some sweet potato and some corn. And I think this is maybe milk. I'm also getting some coffee prepared in the background. 
really nice. Let's enjoy this meal and get energized for the last day of exploring. I asked them it's actually from tofu here and then we have the eggs. So we have some good protein sources, a little bit of meat. Less than what I normally have, but shouldn't complain. It's really nice. Very thankful for them to arranging it, so I'm really happy. Can I enjoy this now? See you later. Just gonna give a huge recommendation to this Shinsu Snow Mountain Ching Chung panoramic holiday club resort at look according to booking at least but here it's called heart retreat it's here on the xinhua jie huangshan shan duan i think 54 just in the middle here of the old street really great very convenient so so if you're thinking all about passing by you should definitely check this place out i'd recommend it okay so next up we can explore this place he long tan park recommended by the guy actually the Brazilian guy I met at the mountain yesterday to check it out so let's see what that looks like walking on the way here this old area we have this fish swimming in this stream here really nice Chinese vibes here for sure nice let's continue this way very nice I think we arrived here at the entrance to the Hei Long Tan really nice let's explore this park see what's inside okay so we finally got in after checking the passport twice had to show my covid test do the health code another app that tracks where you've been but safety first and now i'm here so definitely have to have all your papers in order that's for sure now let's go and take a walk here and explore i really love when they incorporate this sort of waters and stream into the park it's really nice very dynamic environment let's see if you can find this big uh, pagoda over here in the end of the park Okay, so I think we definitely found it here. It's the lake, really nice. And you have the pagoda over there on the bridge. Let's go and check it out. Wow, here we have a really nice gate here. Walking into the park. I'm not alone here, but still quite few tourists. Very nice, really peaceful. Let's see if we can get over there to the pagoda. Looks really nice. Now that is really pretty, that is for sure. Get this bridge here and the pagoda in the background. The mountains, really nice. Okay, let's go and cross this bridge. Really peaceful here, you have a bit of the wind blowing here, really nice relaxing Sunday morning vibes here. Just a few more hours before heading back to the airport in Beijing, but just taking in the last moments here, enjoying the view. Really nice, peaceful. Must have been really nice here back in the day when you were, I guess, owning this place, if you're an emperor or something like that. Coming out here in the summer and relaxing the nice views. Here we have someone playing some traditional instruments. Very soothing, really nice next to the water. It's actually a quite big park here. At the lakes and even some yellow leaves now. It's definitely still summer, it's just August, but maybe the leaves are turning. It'd be nice to explore China later in the fall as well. When the leaves are falling, maybe go to the Great Wall. It's gonna be nice. Let me know if you have some other things you wanna see. I'll try to go there for you guys. We have some nice dancing going on in the park. You see this a lot in China, square dancing especially the ladies you see it in the evenings and the mornings any time of the day it's great great way to get some cardio in and stay healthy and young and i think generally speaking people are very active here it's great to see let's continue here's a nice beautiful temple as well so many different places to see here now came back to this coffee place again i'm gonna ask them to grind some beans for me and they have some really cool flavors here like Yunnan Arabic anaerobic pea berry the tupica and we have red bourbon wow very noisy nice. we're getting a bit of a small nice gift back here so, yeah, just enjoying some of the last hours here you yeah, have the family business here washing the silver really cool stuff they're selling here let's go and have our last lunch here before we head back to the airport gonna have some final yolk meat and i think some nice potatoes with a local flavor i've been passing by this place every day now for a few times but i guess it's time to try it out get 10,000 steps here in the morning so let's go in and see what they have uh, 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 okay. okay let's go inside Oh, you can actually sit outside, it's very nice. Mm, okay. Oh, very cozy here. Hot pot, nice. Have the old buildings next door. 
Very nice. I think they have these famous mushrooms here. They always ask if you want to add rice, but I'm definitely going to skip that, get it cut down on the carbs. And we have the potatoes anyway. I actually wanted those kind of crispy ones, but well, it's fun to try something new. So still potato, but a different shape. So it could be worse. Let's see when it comes in. Get some nice hot green tea here. You always have the leaves inside. You don't sort of take them out as we do in the West here. Have to filter them out. Nice, very relaxing. Be careful, it's very hot. Ah, green tea, it's relaxing. So much better than this garbage you buy in the normal stores. They definitely know what they're doing with the tea here. It's relaxing looking out the window here. We're gonna sit down and have our nice meal. It's gonna be very nice here, preparing in the background. Let's see what they bring out. Ooh, so we got the first dish here. I guess it's the chicken and mushroom soup. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. Looking forward to trying that together with all the other food we get it together. Hmm, looks yummy. It looks like we're out the dishes. But it's looking good. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got the bell peppers, nice Yunnan style. And we have the potatoes. Ooh, that is looking crispy. Definitely no need for rice with that, that's for sure. We're just waiting for the jock hot pot, the main dish. Nice. Definitely smells super nice, this one. Well, I'm happy I tried this one. So fun to always try new things. Ooh, and bell peppers. Yeah, I love the chili and the flavors to use here. So nice. Getting the hot pot here, lit up. Nice, it's gonna be hot and great. Let's bring in the meat. Okay, so we get the meat here now. Mm, looking good. Nice, all this yolk meat and some dates. Great. I think I'm gonna try the other food before while this is boiling. Then dig into the meat. It's gonna be fantastic. Okay, now we got everything set up here. I'm gonna try by digging in the first one here. Nice piece of bell pepper. Ooh, that is looking good. Mm. Mm. Spicy, nice. Never disappoints. Yeah, okay, let's try the potato here. Interesting, it's kind of like crispy. That is looking great. Let's try it. Mmm, very crispy. Wow, really nice. This was a bit unexpected. I actually wanted the ones that kind of looks like fries, but these are almost even crispier. Mm, really nice. Mmm, mm, that is amazing. Really good so far. Okay, let's try the soup. Let's lift out some of this good stuff here. Chicken and mushrooms, really nice. That is looking nice, let's try it out. Nice chicken. Mmm, I think they definitely put some ginger inside. It's nice, it's, it's a flavor I really like. It's, somewhere. it's really black, this chicken. I don't know what they're doing, but it seems like all the chicken you buy has kind of this black skin. Mmm, nice. Quite plain, but that's kind of what I like about Chinese cuisine. You know, it's not so much other stuff here, it's basically chicken, but the broth is everything. Mmm, very nice. And on the topic of broth, this looks like it's starting to boil up here. We have all this yolk meat going on. Well, I don't know if it's ready or not yet. I'm gonna give it some more time, but this looks pretty interesting. I think I'll let it wait for a bit more. I have some more bell peppers. This is good stuff. Mm. Okay, it's yolk meat. I guess that's basically some sort of beef. At least the Chinese character for it is like mao nyoro. So basically it's a type of beef, which means I should probably be able to eat it kind of raw. So let's try it, see if I make it. Mm. Wow, yeah, that definitely tastes a little bit different than beef. Interesting flavor. Mm. A bit more sort of wild taste to it for sure. Yeah, this was a nice kind of end to the trip. Yolk hot pot. I never tried that before, that's for sure. Okay, I'm just taking away some of the foam here. I guess that's what you're supposed to do, which I didn't know. You learn something new every day. So while she's doing that, I'm gonna finish off this, have these amazing potatoes here, some of the chicken soup, the bell pepper, and of course, all of this fantastic yolk meat. I'm really happy I came here to Lijiang, and I'm gonna roll some other pictures from you know the days here in the background so you can enjoy a bit more. I hope it wasn't kind of too much food for you. It's almost like kind of like a food vlog more than a tourist or you know places vlog. But I really liked it. Hope you enjoyed it too. If you have some comments or you know other things you want to see, let me know. And if you really like it, give it a like, subscribe. And see you in the next video.